At times in 2019, Stephen Hauschka struggled. So the Buffalo Bills went ahead and got a kicker in the fifth round of the 2020 NFL Draft. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Believers Talk. My name is Joe, and welcome to this 2020 draft recap video where we go ahead and take a look back at every single 2020 NFL Buffalo Bills draft pick and we see how they did in their rookie season. Again, thank you guys for joining me. My name is Joe. If you're new to this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button for continual Buffalo Bills and Buffalo sports news. Also, hit that like button and leave a comment. What did you think about our first sixth round draft pick? That's Tyler Bass. Kicker out of Georgia Southern University. As I said in the intro, at the uh, middle of the 2019 season, it was clear that Stephen Hauschka was on the decline, right? And so, yes, Stephen Hauschka did do better as 2020 went on, including or 2019 went on, including that playoff game against the Houston Texans, where he went six for six on field goals in that one. So. You weren't sure if the Buffalo Bills were going to stick with Hauschka or go a different route. And Brandon Bean decided to double up on kicker. He knew he had the veteran in Hauschka. He went after Tyler Bass in the fifth round, pick number 188 overall. And Bills fans, we have to be happy that he did. Now, going into training camp, I said, I want Steven Hauschka to win the job. But if he didn't win the job, be prepared for some growing pains. I said that all uh, training camp long and during the beginning of the NFL season. And that's exactly what we went through. So Tyler Bass, of course, won that competition to the, to the delight of some Bills fans, to the disappointment of others. And then Tyler Bass started week one as the starting kicker for the Buffalo Bills. Week one against the Jets started 0 for 2 on field goals. He does get two chippies late, finish 2 for 4 on the day, although that first field goal looked like it was good, but will uh, we'll always go down as a missed field goal for Tyler Bass. But the rest of the season, the rest of the way, Tyler Bass did an amazing job. So I was happy with Tyler Bass all season long. No real disappointments here. In fact, I would say that Tyler Bass was the best draft pick out of this draft class so far. I know a lot of people would say Gabriel Davis is up there, and, and you can't argue that uh, as well. But Tyler Bass broke a franchise record. Tyler Bass made an NFL history during his rookie season, and that's hard to do. For any position anywhere, that's hard to do, and yet Tyler Bass made his name known in his first year as a Buffalo Bill kicker. So again, Tyler Bass out of Georgia Southern University, pick 188 overall in the sixth round. Had that competition with Steven Hauschka, and he beat out Steven Hauschka uh, in, in, that, in, in camp. And again, to the delight of some, to the disappointment of others. As the season went on, uh, he showed more and more confidence. If you look back at the playoffs, that Colts game, when he made that what it turned out to be game-winning field goal, that swagger that he had, right? That swag looking over the Colts sideline, it was just something to behold. For a kicker to have that type of swagger was awesome to see. And uh, it was fun to watch him grow as the season uh, went on. He's the first kicker in franchise history, in Bill's history, to have three 50-plus yard field goals in the same game. I believe it was the Cardinals game. He had three 50-plus yard field goals in that one. He's the first kicker in Bill's franchise history to do that. Only the second kicker in NFL history to have such a feat. Uh, so good job. Congratulations to him. Broke the Buffalo Bills franchise record for points scored. Originally held by Steve Christie. Steve Christie had 140 points. I believe it was in 1998. Here comes uh, Tyler Bass. Tyler Bass comes in 141 points. Had a huge day week 17 against the Dolphins when the Buffalo Bills completely decimated the Dolphins week 17. And that got him to 141 points. The new Buffalo Bills franchise record. So congratulations to him for that as well. And when you talk about making records in the NFL, making NFL history, he has the longest postseason kick by any rookie kicker of all time. 54 yarder against the Indianapolis Colts was a, a great kick and uh, definitely put him in the record books. And it's going to be a long time, I think, until a kicker beats that, especially a rookie. You know how rookies have those growing pains and some of these rookie kickers don't see the playoffs, right? So it's probably going to be a long time before someone comes and 
breaks a 54-yard field goal by a rookie. So congratulations, Tim. He finished the season 28 of 34 on field goals. Again, I think it should have been 29 out of 34 on field goals for an 82.4% uh, percent kicking percentage at, for the whole season. Stephen Hauschka's best season, his first season with the Buffalo Bills, he went 29 of 33, so just a little bit better than what we saw from Tyler Bass in, in his rookie season. 57 of 59 extra points, 96.6%. I want to see extra points out 100%. I don't know why, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a Justin Tucker fan when he says I kick it through the uprights, right? Like, extra points, you should put the extra point where you want to go, like what hash mark you want on, things like that. So to me, there's no reason to miss extra points unless it's blocked due to a, a missed block by our offensive line. But to me, I, I want to see 100% on extra points, but still 96.6%, not that bad. But one stat that keeps getting overlooked by Tyler Bass is his touchback percentage. Now, it seemed like on kicks, Tyler Bass could put the ball wherever he wanted to, right? It seemed like there were times where the coaching staff would tell him, hey, can you put this uh, uh, on the right sideline or inside the five yard line, inside the 10 yard line, and he'd be able to do it. But Tyler Bass had a 70.3% touchback uh, percentage this season and when you go back to 2019 you look at Steven Hauschka he only had a 57.5 percent touchback percentage so a huge increase there for the Buffalo Bills gives our special teams a little bit of rest no need to have them flying downfield uh, make the team start at the 25 yard line still not the biggest fan of them moving it from the 20 to the 25 but you have to understand why they did it for safety precautions but still 70.3 percent touchback percentage I'm good with that. And I think, again, that could have been higher if the Bills coaching staff wanted it to be. To be. So there were three kickers taken in the 2020 NFL Draft. The uh, Tyler Bass was the second kicker off the board. There was a fifth-round kicker, Justin uh, Rouser, taken by the New England Patriots. He actually did not play this season. So it'll be interesting to see if he gets another look in the 2021 campaign. Maybe joins the team, training camp, something like that. And he gets a chance to play. Also in the seventh round, you had Sam Sloman, uh, kicker. Ended up playing with the Rams most of his, his uh, rookie season. He had one game with the Tennessee Titans, seven games with the Rams. And in those eight games, he went 10 for 13 on field goals, 23 of 26 and extra points. So Tyler Bass, definitely the best kicker taken in this draft. And like I said at the beginning, I think this is the best Buffalo Bills draft pick of the 2020 NFL draft. Now, maybe not the best value. We'll talk about Dane Jackson and the value that he brings to the Buffalo Bills. But again, a guy who breaks a franchise record held by Steve Christie and a guy who sets a new NFL record. You have to be happy with what you saw from Tyler Bass in 2020. You hope that he only gets better as time goes on. So for me, this is a B plus grade. Again, you saw some struggles early on this season, especially that Jets game. Uh, but overall, you have to love 82.4% uh, field goal percentage, a lot of 50 plus kicks. The only kicker in Bills history to have three 50 plus yard field goals in the same game. So all great things by Tyler Bass. I look forward to seeing what he brings to this team in 2021. So again, let me know what you think in the comment section. Did you like Tyler Bass from the beginning or did it take some more up. Are you sold on Tyler Bass now, or do you want to see another year before you mark your stamp of approval? But as of right now, I think everyone has to be satisfied with Tyler Bass being taken by the Buffalo Bills. Uh, round six, pick nine, eight, 188 overall. Guys, again, leave a comment, like this video, and make sure you hit that subscribe button. It's going to be a crazy off season. I have you covered right here. So hit that subscribe button. I look forward to talking to you all soon. Until I do, go Bills.